One look at the picture, and I knew it was some source of white light contaminating the image. Let's go through the evidence. Here's the problem area. But there's a really nice fluorescing anemone here in the foreground. Good clean fluorescence, dark background, nothing at all wrong with it. So that says the system is basically functioning, the strobe providing blue light excitation, the yellow barrier filter in place. It's also nice and dark in the far background. Just this band of lit up area across the middle. If you look at the coral, you can see a hint of green fluorescence, but it's almost completely overwhelmed by the white light. This contaminated area looks yellowish because of the yellow barrier filter. Now let's look at this second image. Fluorescing lizard fish are one of the most popular subjects. They're stunningly bright green against the sand, and they're pretty cooperative in staying still for their picture to be taken. As in the first picture, we can see dark in the foreground and background, and a hint of the green fluorescence poking above this interfering white light. The pictures told the story, but where was this white light coming from? We arranged to have a face-to-face -face conversation by Skype so I could learn more about his exact gear setup. Lynn had no white light on when he was taking the pictures, and I knew that the night sea filter was completely covering his ion strobe. The only other possible source of white light was the camera's built-in flash, which had to fire in order to trigger the strobe via the fiber optic connector. Lynn was using a Nauticam housing. Here is where the fiber connects. Notice that there is more than one hole for fibers to enter. If unused holes aren't covered, light can get out. It may not seem like much, but fluorescence is a relatively weak effect, and it doesn't take much white light to pollute an image. Now this isn't the same model of housing, but it'll simulate what's going on, and we'll put a bright white light behind it, and you can see that there's just a ton of light getting out of this thing, and we've got to get rid of that. I suggest that he just take some electrical tape and start covering up areas that it looked like light would be getting out. And you can put the tape on the outside of the housing. You can put it on the inside if it's more convenient to, uh, to be able to cover things up. And just do that and periodically fire his flash and see if anything's coming out. Now we can see that's a lot better. It's not quite there. I told him just keep going until he couldn't see any light at all coming out and then try it on a dive.